90 Day Fiancé. The Other Way Season 4 is airing, and the season has already featured two proposals so far. Gabriel Gabe Paboga and Isabel Posada became the last couple to officially become engaged after Gabe earned the acceptance of Isabel's parents after coming out to them as transgender. Rishi Singh also re-proposed to Jen Boker in a romantic gesture before she was forced to leave India to return to the United States. While 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 4 has only featured two proposals, previous seasons of the spin-off have featured many more. While some proposals were simple and romantic, like the one Rishi did for Jen, others have been more elaborate. There are five proposals from the other way that have stood out as incredibly creative, regardless of whether they went over well with 90 Day Fiancé fans. 5. Jihoon Lee's proposal to Devin Clegg While Devin Clegg and Jihoon Lee's relationship did not end up working out, the ex-couple still had one of the most creative proposals on the other way. Jihoon and his parents traveled to visit Devin in Utah while she was pregnant with her and Jihoon's son Taeyong. Devin and Jihoon took a quick trip to Las Vegas, where they had a romantic date at the Top of the World restaurant. Devin expressed she was sad Jihoon was leaving for South Korea soon, but he had one last surprise up his sleeve. Jihoon had the clever idea to propose to Devin by putting the ring in her drink, as opposed to the tradition of getting down on one knee. When Devin left to go to the bathroom, Jihoon asked the waitress to bring back two glasses of ginger ale with the ring at the bottom of Devin's glass. Devin was surprised to see the ring and happily accepted. Jihoon got very creative with the proposal and even the wait staff at the restaurant agreed. For Biniam Shaber's proposal to Ariella Weinberg Ariella Weinberg and Biniam Shebre had a complicated relationship during the other way seasons 2 and 3. However, they had an adorable proposal amid the chaos. Ariella moved to Ethiopia so she and Biniam could raise their son Abi together, although she struggled to adjust to her new life there. On the day of the proposal, Ariella and Biniam got into a heated argument as they celebrated Timcat, a traditional festival for Christians in Ethiopia. Nonetheless, Biniam decided to propose shortly after, and Ariella happily accepted. Biniam proposed to Ariella with the ring inside a lemon, which was certainly a 90-day fiancé first. Biniam explained that boys and girls threw lemons at one another during Timcat to express romantic interest, so he thought it would be clever to use a lemon to propose as well. Biniam went all out on the proposal and had some of his friends participate as well by distracting Ariella while he pulled out the ring in addition to holding up a sign he had made. 3. Kenny Niedermeyer's proposal to Armando Rubio Kenneth Kenny Niedermeyer and his husband Armando Rubio are the other way fan favorites, and their proposal was very touching as well. Kenny moved to Mexico to be with Armando, although the pair faced several struggles as Armando had a hard time coming out to his family. Kenny and Armando had an emotional journey which peaked when Kenny decided to ask Armando to marry him. Armando was surprised, although the Mexican native was elated to say yes to being Kenny's future husband. Kenny proposed to Armando in a very romantic setting, on rocks on a beachfront. Kenny got right to the point and told Armando that he saw them being together for a lifetime. After Armando said yes, Kenny revealed that he had invited numerous friends and family members to help them celebrate the occasion, including two of his daughters. Kenny and Armando's supporters cheered them on from above, making it a moment to truly remember. 
2. Stephen Johnston's proposal to Alina Johnston Stephen and Alina Johnston were one of the most controversial couples on The Other Way Season 3. However, they had one of the spin-off's most unique proposals. Stephen and Alina both moved to Turkey since Stephen could not move to Alina's home country of Russia due to visa issues caused by COVID-19. Stephen and Alina struggled over their religious differences, but this did not stop them from getting engaged and ultimately married. Stephen asked Alina to marry him on a private boat ride around Turkey, which was an amazing setting for an engagement. Stephen wrote a song for Alina, which was cringy, but it was a creative effort nonetheless. When Stephen tried to adjust his tune, he decided to simply get down on one knee and propose to Alina, which she happily accepted. It's evident that Alina was impressed by Stephen's proposal and found it to be very amusing, earning it the title of the second most creative proposal in the other way's history. 1. Gabe Paboga's proposal to Isabel Posada Gabe was eager to propose to Isabel after he received her father's blessing, as well as her two children, Sarah and Miguel, and he pulled out all the creative stops while doing so. Gabe decided to take Isabel to a pottery class, as she was interested in doing so after Gabe took Sarah and Miguel to one a few days prior. Gabe began by showing Isabel the two plates Sarah and Miguel had designed, then proceeded to show her his plate, which hinted at the proposal. Once Isabel realized what was going on, Gabe got down on one knee and read Isabel a speech he had written in Spanish for her. Gabe concluded by asking Isabel to marry him and revealed a hidden ring on the plate she had been holding. Isabel tearfully accepted and expressed that the moment was a very happy one for her. Gabe and Isabel's engagement was not only touching but very artistic, making it the most creative in the history of 90 Day Fiancé, the other way. Yeah.